this scholarship is going to cover your full tuition if you watch this video and understand what you need to do then we are going to check the list of programs that are actually available note that this is a full exemption of tuition fee which means every student who actually get this scholarship will not have to pay for any tuition fee at all and there's also a, uh, a student uh, stipend that you can actually enjoy if you apply to this scholarship okay so let's quickly look at all the procedure you need to follow all the requirements all the information all the documents for your application and every other related information about this particular scholarship in europe today i hope this will help you to actually make decision to uh, to actually apply to this school and uh to uh, actually continue with your migration journey now let's quickly take a look at some of the requirements first before we look at the programs that are available first thing i would like to call your attention to is that uh people who actually want to undertake their bachelor and master degree uh, are people who can actually apply to this scholarship so if you are looking for a phd scholarship this is not available for this uh, video okay in previous days i've made videos about different phd scholarship that you can apply to and one of the things you also need to pay attention to that i don't joke with is actually deadline Make sure you file your application before you actually uh before the deadline actually comes okay because as at the time of recording this video you have like two months to uh submit your application okay so that's like 60 days or 61 days to actually submit your application and i hope you take advantage of this to uh get into this university in europe today despite the fact that this school actually have there are almost 232 degree program uh, at this university but one thing is there are 48 phd program okay and 53 specialization schools 86 folks and sec uh, second level professional master degree okay but pay attention no phd scholarship offer right here they also have another scholarship majorly for phd but not this particular one that i'm talking about so if you are looking for phd scholarship i advise that you also watch this video to the very end uh, because I will be also showing you another scholarship I found on the official school website. When it comes to requirements, one of the things that you need to know is that sometimes there might be age limit, sometimes there might be document requirements, and at this point, all country can actually apply. And if you are applying for the first and single circle degree program, SAT or uh, uh, TOLC test is actually required if it's required for your program okay and also there are some people that gre test is actually required for their program so you also need to put into consideration that you need to provide your gre test score you must not be more than 30 years of age as at the time of submitting your application which means they're actually looking for young talent okay although uh what they actually call the scholarship is actually i think young talents or something okay so if we get to the official website, we are going to see more information about that. And IELTS is not required, but proficiency in English is required, which means you need to get a letter of uh, uh, letter of instruction or medium of instruction letter that shows your medium of instruction from your previous uh, school. If you are applying for your bachelor, that will be your high school. Then if you are applying for your master, that will be your bachelor school. Okay, so please put in uh, put into consideration all this information to have a successful application if you are going to apply you have to apply directly through the study online okay so which is the official website for this option and the university actually recommending that you also check all the terms uh, and condition those are majorly the requirement the eligibility criteria for the scholarship itself okay so and first thing you have to do is check your program if it's actually available and when you choose your when you check that your program is available you check the requirements related to your program then you can actually start your application immediately okay now let's quickly look at the list of programs that are available right here okay okay now if we come to the uh, information page for the program if you scroll down the first circle or the single circle is actually the bachelor so if you are looking for bachelor, you have to look for single circle. Then if you are looking for masters, you have to look for second circle. So let's take the first circle first. When you get to the first circle page, I've actually done a filter right here. 
and you can see that here it shows it is showing 14 programs and here if you scroll down you are going to see that we have economics and management engineering and architecture medicine pharmacy biotechnology political science science statistics so those are the uh major should i call it the department or the faculties okay so those are the major faculties that you can find there then under the economics and management you can see six here which means there are six programs there and under engineering and, and architecture there is just one here okay so let's uh, let me expand this so that you understand so under economics and management they have business and economics they also have business economics they also have economics and finance okay they also have uh, economics of tourism cities economics politics and social science management and economics and if you look right here, the language here is English and international program deliver entirely in English, which shows this program is an international uh, student program, which means international students can apply to these and these are programs that are totally taught in English. Okay, so I hope that uh, clarify uh, your concern about uh, the language uh language of instruction okay and here under engineering they have building construction engineering which is also so i've actually filtered down the programs that are totally taught in english so if you come let me show you if you come to the top of this page if you click on this filter right here if i click on this filter filter then you can actually select your area study area then here is just duration but you can just scroll down you can see that i've actually done a filter of just english thought program so when i do uh, when i do that it will it will know that this is an international student program but you can also click on international uh program right here and if i click on done so you see we still have the same number of program which is total of 14 program okay so that's a simple way to actually fit out uh what you want to quickly see instead of going through the rigorous list that's all the list of programs that are there so if i click on done you can see under the bachelor we have 118 program and you know checking each of them one by one will be uh, a very long one for you okay okay so those are programs that are actually available for those who want to look into the uh bachelor area now let's go now to the uh to students who actually want to look into uh, the second cycle program which is the master program so here we also have one 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 four program i will also do the same for this section here they even have programs that are taught in french as you can see here they have program that is taught in uh france okay french francais okay french english and italian program so if i scroll down here you see international programs okay english if i click english then i click international program then i click on this button that says done when i click that it fit out down and you can see we have 77 program for the master uh program and under agriculture and food these are programs that they actually have okay i think they also have some of this erasmus mondo program joint degree program okay so they also have it right there place of teaching these are the campuses in Parma, in Piacena, in Rigor, Emilia, Mondena, Bologna, okay, Campus Foley, okay, Campus Bologna, okay, so those are the uh, places and those are the programs that they actually have. So I just wish, uh, I just hope you have your own program of interest right here so that you can actually be part of people that we uh, enjoy this uh, particular scholarship in Italy today okay so and don't forget this is the university of bologna okay so if you look at here i'm a i'm a matter studium university de bologna okay so this is one of the old university okay this university actually has been existing in 1088 ad okay so it's a very old university and uh the next thing i actually want us to look at is uh so now i actually want us to go back to the scholarship information so that we can then discuss more better about this scholarship so if you come right to the top here here it says international talent at this university and this is a scholarship for international students for the academic year 2024-2025 the university is offering 80 new scholarship to the serving international students who intend to enroll in first second and single circle degree program for 2024 and 2025 academic section 
okay if you scroll down here you're going to see scholarship awards uh this amount for gross and including the full exemption of tuition fee okay so i think this is a very good offer to actually get uh in any university today and the scholarship and exemption are now ordered for one academic year based on the sat and the gre test score and the verification of financial status that you actually need to provide okay you should understand how italy works right now they always want to see that you cannot afford that tuition okay and you already know all the rest uh story behind that so you need to just do the needful to be able to get the scholarship okay so scholarship and exemption are reserved for scholarship students from the previous uh unibor action 2 program and awarded on the basis of academic merit okay so if i go back to actually show you <laughs> okay so what i have here is actually the action one and the action two what this actually means is that every student who actually got the first tuition fee waiver in their first year will not get the uh scholarship for the second year only if they can prove that they meet up with the their academic standard okay only if they meet up with their study okay so it is not everybody that will actually get that scholarship in the second year if you are not meeting up with the with your academic uh record okay but if you meet up with your academic record then you are good to collect this for the second year again okay so i hope this gives you uh understanding about the first uh unibo one and the unibo two okay so this is actually what you need to understand by that okay so if you are not getting or you are not meeting up with your academic record then you will not be able to get it for the second year okay and you can also apply for this if you uh meet up with your academic record okay for the second year actually okay so let's go back here to read more information about the requirement qualification you have obtained or are in the process of the obtaining a qualification belonging to a non-italian education system which means international student okay students with italian high school qualification obtained in italian abroad may also apply okay if you are also from within italy and merit you have taken one of the following international tests by the deadline of this period okay you must register from the tests through the website of the organization in charge and sat and jerry are head in english okay your financial status you know i've talked about this i say i s e e i s e e several times and you just need to read more information to know how you can declare your family uh uh financial uh condition to be able to get funding okay and if you cannot submit an IS certificate because your family has income outside italy then you need to check the information right here okay i told you earlier that you must not be older than 30 years of age so sometimes i just want to give you brief information about the video but most time a lot of people they still have the doubt just uh to read the information from them directly from the school you know i don't like when the video is too long but there's nothing i could do i just need to show you some of those information directly on the school website but most time i think i should be doing just brief overview of everything that you need to know about the scholarship because reading every information might take your time okay so don't, don't forget let's quickly uh start the application this application already started uh from this period and is going to the deadline is actually here which is the deadline for uh for the scholarship okay so the deadline for submitting application for the scholarship complete the test score result and also submit your document on the family economic situation is actually this period okay so you see that you even have more time okay and you're going to see the results by july so i advise you to actually quickly go ahead to actually start your application process immediately please don't delay don't procrastinate take action right now and i wish you success in everything that you do but one thing i want you to do is to make sure you click on that like button and also uh make sure you subscribe to this uh youtube channel if you scroll down here you're going to see app application must be submitted exclusively via the study online okay which is the link i also share with, uh which is also the information i show you from the beginning 
that you have to apply directly from the studio online okay so on the studio online is actually one of the place where our application take place and um, you see all the deadline right here so please don't joke with joke with any of this deadline every information you need to know are actually on this portal for you to actually make your decision to apply to this scholarship i wish you success in everything that you do and i hope you get into this scholarship in italy today okay if you find this video useful give it a thumbs up share this video, this video with a friend drop your comments if you have any question drop it at the comment box if you want to speak with me uh privately you can actually schedule uh, a conversation uh, session with me let's have a call session to actually resolve any of your issue that you might be going through right now i wish you success in all you do bye bye